Israel. Shalom, 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 Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth on your fellow servant Malachi coming in from the GMS Tampa Bay Church. All right, I want to go ahead and get into uh, just a little short lesson. Um, going into, uh, you know, just reading over my favorite uh, precept and, you know, just, you know, decide just to put like a little short lesson together with it. Um, and, you know, going into it is, you know, how the Lord is going to pronounce his name within the earth. All right. He's already doing it right now through his, uh, through the prophecies. All right. He's already doing that by his, uh, his men. All right. And the men are preaching his words. All right. So the Lord is getting ready to magnify his name. All right. And he's going to be doing that by these judgments. Everything that the prophets have been saying, all right, the Lord is going to make all these things to become true. Okay, so you see the prophets, the true men of the Lord, all right, they're prophesying the things to come. And the Lord is going to make these things happen. How everyone is, is tripping up over the name, not understanding it, but the Lord is going to make it known what his real name is, the true name. All right, and he's going to be doing that what? By the judgments, as I just said earlier. All right, the Lord is going to, uh, 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 as you see the men of the Lord, how they uh, say that the MOTB uh, is the, uh, uh, the RFID chip. All right, we're going to see these things uh, uh, come to pass. All right, how um, the scripture also goes into how uh, the scripture says, "While well, everyone is going to be in heaviness, all right, and turmoil, all right, but the servants, they're going to be uh, uh, laughing, all right." The scriptures also said that uh, that the servants, all right, were going to eat, all right, that the servants were not going to be thirsty, all right, that the servants will be uh, have abundance, all right. All these things, the Lord is going to make all these things uh, uh, come to pass, and it's to what? It's to sanctify his great name. All right. Because the scripture says that let every man uh, be a liar. All right. Except what? The most high. You know, just roughly paraphrasing. All right. Let me see. Let's start off in. Um, yeah, let's get that. Because a lot of people don't believe. I think that's Romans 3 and 3. Um, it's a lot. Let's get that. All right. Because a lot of people don't believe on the men of the Lord. All right. They don't believe on the words. All right. So therefore, they don't believe the Heavenly Father. All right. That these things are going to happen. This is why you see pride have butted up in this uh, earth. All right. These people, uh, they believe a, a false reality and they're not seeing the things that is really happening around the earth. But only the prophets, they see these things and it's because the Lord has revealed the secrets unto them. This is the book of Romans 3, verse 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? All right, so this is what? If, if, if the people don't believe, does it matter? No, it's not going to matter if these people don't believe. It's not going to stop the prophecies from happening. It's not going to be, it's not going to uh, stop the Lord from sanctifying his great name, his holy name. Okay, verse 4, it says, God forbid, <clears throat> yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right, so we're going to be justified in the sayings that we're saying because it's coming from the Heavenly Father. He's given us what? The record. He's given us the, uh, the book, the words to eternal life. All right, the things to, to heal the sick, to heal the, uh, the, the lame. All right, to open up the, uh, the eyes of the blind. All right, to open up the ears so that they can hear. 
All right, this is what the Lord has his prophets out there doing. And the Lord is getting ready to sanctify his great name through all these different uh, 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 things to come. All right, the, the, the word, his word, all the prophecies. All right, the men, his men that he has out there on the highways and hedges. So the Lord is getting ready to sanctify his great name before everyone. All right, so let's start off in the book of Ezekiel 36, starting at verse 20, 21. It says, But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord Power, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. All right, so this is going back into the time of, of uh, uh, Ezekiel, all right, and the Lord is telling uh, Ezekiel to prophesy to the house of Israel, all right, and and you can also tie this to what an actual uh, 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 future prophecy. But this is talking about in the time when uh, Ezekiel was uh, uh, prophesying, all right. He's speaking to the house of Israel, all right. How Israel was profaning the Lord's name at that time, all right, going into worship worshiping these different idols. All right, worshiping these other different gods, following the ways of the heathen. So the heathen are looking at, all right, uh, the Most High is like, well, dang, these are your people. They're not following you. So basically, they were what? They were profaning the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right, at that time. So this is Ezekiel uh, uh, telling them this is what the Lord is getting ready to do. All right. So it says um, back in twenty-two. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord power, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen whither ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. All right. And this is what he was, this is what the house of Israel was doing. All right. Profaning the name, all right, amongst the heathen. All right, so but the Lord, and this time the Lord is using what? The prophets, all right, the ones who turn back from all of that, all right, and what? So that they can worship, all right, and praise Yahweh by Shem Yahweh All right, so going back into uh, verse 23, it says, And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, said, saith the Lord Yahweh. When I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. So the Lord says what? We will be sanctified. I mean, he will be sanctified, all right, in us before their eyes. These people are going to see the true power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh when he starts to bring what? The things that he said, uh, 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 the things that were to come. Okay? Such as what? The judgments. All right? This is the book of Psalms 9 and 16. The Lord, Yahweh, is known by the judgment which he executed. All right. So this is how, that's the point. This is how the Lord is, what? Uh, uh, making his name to be known. He's going to start executing judgments. All right. The, you go throughout the scriptures. It's, it, hey, it's the Lord is always judging, judging, judging. All right, he's judging what the nation of Israel. He's judging the other different nations. All right, throughout from from what from the beginning to the end. Okay, and at the end, it's getting ready to be Esau Edom getting ready to be a uh, 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 judge according to all his wicked deeds. All right, as the Lord promised. All right, so the Lord is what he's gonna magnify his name by destroying. All right, Esau Edom. All right, by the ways of what the prophets. All right, what the what the prophets were uh, saying. All right, it says the wicked is snare in the work of his own hands. So the Lord's gonna cast his uh uh uh, uh, uh the judgments. All right, he's gonna be snared. All right, he's gonna be trapped. All right, of the things that he's made, the things that he's made. All right, and this when you go into the ICBM missiles. All right, Esau Edom. Has created this uh, uh, this weaponry, all right, to control the nations. But it, it's gonna be a snare unto him, 
All right, the things that he has made that the Lord has given unto him, but he's going to be snared into it. It's going to fall upon his own head. Okay, it says verse 17, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forgot the most high. All right, so the Lord is going to have it to where the wicked is going to be turned into hell and the nations that forgot the most high. All right, everyone is going to remember the name Elishaya. Everyone's going to remember Yahweh. All right, that fierce power. Um, was that in um, Ezekiel 36? Huh, yeah, we, I could have kept going, but we'll, we'll, you know, speed it up a little bit. All right, so going back into the judgments, um, this is the book of Psalms 37. And... So I know it says the Lord loveth judgment. Verse 28. Con, this is the book of Psalms 37, verse 28. It reads, For Yahweh loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. So the wicked, all right, the seed of the wicked will be cut off. All right, and that's going to be what? By the Lord's doing. The Lord said that this was going to happen by the way what the prophets were saying. All right, they were saying these things because this is the words uh, that, that was given unto them. All right, so it says, For the Lord, Yahweh, loveth judgment. All right, so the Lord loves judgment. All right, he is uh, a, a power of judgment. All right, he's going to be known by the judgment which he executed. All right, and this is how he's going to be sanctified. All right, the judgments. All right, his name is going to be uh, in the earth. Everyone's going to fear the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and then throughout the scriptures, they uh, uh, the Lord said what well, He was going to protect His servants. He was going to keep them. Okay, so back in Psalm 37, 28, it says, "And forsaketh not His saints; they are preserved forever." So that's the protection going to those men. All right, who did the, the will of the Heavenly Father. All right, verse 29, it says, The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. This is making what? The prophecies come true. All right, making what? The things that were said, all right, to become true. The things were going to come uh, to pass. All the words in the book had to be fulfilled. All right, so the Lord is going to make the name, his name be known. All right, it's going to be uh, 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 within the earth because everything that he said was going to be true. All right, the Lord is not a lot is not a man that he should not lie. Uh, let's go up some more. Um, it says, verse thirty. It says, "The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment." And it's what you see the men of the Lord have, because the Lord has given that unto them. All right, they speak the words uh, of wisdom, of knowledge and understanding, and also of what? Judgment. All these things are coming from the Heavenly Father because the Heavenly Father is getting ready to make all those things to come true. Um, it says, the law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged. All right. It says, wait on the Lord, Yahweh, and keep his way. And he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. So this is what the Lord is getting ready to do. All right. To, uh, uh, to make these things come true. To, to exalt his name. All right. And to exalt those, those elect members, the ones who believed on his word. All right, to give them to the land. He even gave the promises to what? Abraham. What? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, in the seed. All right, the elect is going to come up out of that. All right, so these words are going to become true. And the heathen are going to know that it is Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that doeth that. All right, so it says, um, it says, when the wicked are cut off, Thou shalt see it. All right. So we're going to see it. The heathen's going to see it. Everyone's going to see uh, Esau Edom 
be uh, uh, taken in his own snare. Everyone's gonna see the uh, the the prophecies come to uh, the, uh, come to pass. Everyone's gonna see who Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is, especially when he uh, sends his son. All right, Yahweh Shai to come back to proclaim the earth. The scripture says, "Then shall they know." Let's go back to that. All right, uh, back in verse twenty-three. All right, we can close out on this. Ezekiel thirty-six and twenty-three. It says, "And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh." So the heathen are gonna know. All right, the name. It says, saith the Lord, power, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. All right, so the heathen are going to know your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, and the heathen are going to know the men, all right, that serve your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, because the Lord, your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, is going to be sanctified in them before their eyes, and that's when they're going to know, all right, that the Lord. Uh, uh, the Lord's name, okay. So it's, it, hey, it's important how the Lord reveals His name. He reveals it through what the prophecies, all right, through His Word, all right, through 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 everything that is written within the Scriptures, because He's going to make it become true. All right, this is how the Lord is going to sanctify His great name. All right, so hey, Lord, when this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwatim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders in Great Millstone, who have taught us this truth and who rule well. And never respect and salutations, peace and blessings to you sincere and hopefully elect, scattered abroad. That's your fellow servant Malachi. Shalom.